Welcome back for another episode. So Ben Rennie and myself managed to get out about a month ago now. There was a couple of days there where in the morning the, the weather was good up until sort of lunchtime. We both had a little bit of spare time in the morning so we thought we'll get up nice and early, head straight out and just dive for sort of three, four hours and then back in by sort of nine, ten o'clock. The plan on the first day was to get up, head out and chase some Spanish mackerel to be in the water as the sun's coming up and just hope that they come around. And I just got to say, I love it when a plan comes together. Let's check out the footage. <laughs> <laughs> in like a year in the moon. That's my biggest one for two years. So back in 2020, I speared this Spanish about 20 minutes earlier. I hit it in the spine and didn't fully penetrate and the spear pulled out. And I managed to find it laying on the bottom about, yeah, like I said, 20 minutes later. So that fish went about 23 and a half kilos. Fast forward a year. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that was so close. That was a big fish. Mm. Maybe if I had to just bait it for another few more minutes, I would have had a bit longer swim, but I might have had the fish. Yeah, you just never know. But I see this footage is from about a month ago. Like I said, Ben Rennie and myself got out for an early morning dive. We're just diving down and hanging around the bottom. It was about 12 metres deep, I think, 12, 13 metres, something like that. Just sort of hanging out and seeing if anything come past. On this particular dive, this nice Spanish swam past from my right. I saw a slightly bigger one on the left there. And me being me, opted to take the harder fish to shoot and go for the bigger one. So the shot was a little low, but I thought it was a pretty good holding shot. Ben was watching it all play out from the surface. He caught up to my float, and I made sure I was the one that was on the float. I know what Spanish are like, I know they got a tendency to tear off, I didn't want Ben to be the one holding onto the float when it tore off, he would be devo. So I fought the fish, let it have a few runs. Just let it wear itself out. Good Spanish? Yeah, it's probably like 15 kilos. Oh. You hear me there? I, I didn't realise how big this fish was. I thought it was only about 15 kilo. It was pretty hard to see in that viz. I knew it was a decent sized fish, but yeah, I didn't think it was over that 20 mile. Just slowly played the fish up. You can see it's pretty fatigued here, we just let it wear itself out. Ben heads down and puts a second shot in. Even with the second shot, I still slowly bring the fish towards me. pull the fish in here and I know from that fish from last year it's no time to celebrate yet. I've got my hand on its tail, slide my hand in its gills, squeeze tight, now I know I've got it. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <Woo> <laughs> And we're near the boat too. Oh, how good is that? Oh. When I got down, he was like lying upside down. I was like, I am, I'm putting this right through your face. It's so good to be able to make a choice to just head out for a quick morning dive and come home with something like this. It was an awesome morning. Heaps of fish to share with family and friends. I do this with just about all my fish. I'll bring them home so that my boys can see them. They get to grow up seeing what this lifestyle is all about. And hopefully, if they're keen, they'll jump in the water with dad when they're a bit older.
I finished taking the fillets off this big fish. It ended up weighing a bit over 22 kilo from memory and was about 100 mil longer than the one I got a few years ago that was 23 and a half kilos. So I did expect this fish to be a bit heavier than what it was. It's still a great fish. That's a slab. So with the sides off, I diced it all up, cut it into little love hearts and little sections that I'm going to smoke in the future. Bagged it all up, ready for family and friends. All right guys, I'll give you a quick Haynes Hunter update. So what's happened since you've seen me last? The side pockets are in. I think the last time you saw the boat, the side pockets are just temporarily in. I was just sort of sizing them up and working out how I was going to do it. So they are fully glassed. I glassed them outside of the boat and then I put them into the boat and I fully glassed them into the hull. Down on the inside there, on the sides all the way around and underneath as well. Um, some people don't glass underneath, but I did. They're really nice and stiff and strong. I was going to put a knee in sort of halfway, just like a little triangle knee in just here somewhere, but I really don't think I need it. They're very stiff. Uh, I'm pretty sure all this is already done. Head into the cabin. So in the cabin, you'll notice windows are gone so i pulled a heap of gear off i'm planning to just put perspex over the windows some dark like gray black perspex but the the windows themselves are in really good condition the frames and everything like that so i'll keep them if i have any dramas with ceiling and stuff with the perspex i'll just put the old windows back in as well as that i've made the decision to put the anchor winch rather than have it on the shelf in the cabin here i'm going to put it up on top so either which way, I was gonna strengthen that top deck. So I've started doing that. I'll just put the light on so you can see. That's the first infill piece that I'll put in. So there was timber in there. I've taken the, cut the timber out and that's 12 mil thermalite. I put a heap of bog on the thermalite, pushed it up, and then I've put, I think three or four layers of glass over that. So now on top of that again, so that's basically it. I've got a little bit more shaping to do with them. But yeah, so they'll go up on top there and I'll put a heap of glass over all of that and basically all I'm all I'm trying to do is just support out to that curve just so I'll get the anchor stuck or something like that it'll be it'll be trying to pull this top deck up I don't want it to get any any separation or put any pressure unnecessary pressure on here so I've glassed it all in together it'll be all nice and stiff up the front same with the whole whole rest of the boat the whole boat's gonna be like a little nugget it's gonna be so tough as always thanks so much for watching guys if you enjoyed that one, give it a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. I throw stories and reels and stuff like that up on there. And again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. See you guys. How'd you see that? I don't cannot... fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that just hanging in by over the skin again? <laughs> <laughs>